Hello there, my name is Brandon and in this video I'll show you how to resize your pixel art in Clip Studio Paint. If we were to post our pixel art online without resizing it first, it would appear blurry because it's taking that tiny canvas and reinterpreting it at a much larger size for viewing. As if it'll just zoom in and try to figure out everything in between. But we want those pixels to be nice and crisp, so we should make the image bigger ourselves before saving it. So here's what we need to do. In Clip Studio Paint, the best way to resize your completed pixel artwork is by going up to Edit and then selecting Change Image Resolution. You'll see a window pop up which shows the width and the height of our current canvas. And if these units aren't already in pixels, you can change that from this drop down list here. The fastest way to resize our image is by changing the scale setting. And with pixel art, we need to do this in exact integer multiples, like upscaling by a factor of 2, 3, 4, etc. If you were to enter 2.5, for example, not every pixel would be scaled uniformly, and that would cause the design to create jagged and mismatched artifacts throughout. My original design here is 320 by 180 pixels, and you can see when I enter different integers into the scale setting, it's showing me how large the resulting image is going to be. The scale that I choose tends to be dictated by the size of the final image, where I normally aim for something in the range of about 1000 pixels or so as I find that to be plenty of resolution for posting online. So in this case, I'm going to go with a scale of 4 because this will produce a final image size of 1280 by 720 pixels, and that sounds kind of perfect. Before clicking OK, what's really important here is that we ensure the interpolation method is set to the hard edges nearest neighbor setting. If this were on any of the other settings, like by linear or by cubic, our resized image would be blurry because it would again be trying to interpret the new resolution by smoothing out the appearance. So for pixel work, always use hard edges whenever you're playing with size, and that'll maintain crispy pixels. Another question you may have is, do I need to change the DPI? Uh, right now mine's at 72, which is the default, and no, you don't need to worry about this if you're just upscaling an image for digital use. DPI is used to define the relationship between image resolution and print dimension if you were going to create a physical print of your artwork. But if we're just saving this to post online, this relationship doesn't come into play. Once we click OK, we can see the new larger image, and the pixels look perfectly clear as with the original size, but if we zoom in now we can see that each pixel is actually 4x4 pixels in size. Normally I would go ahead and save this as a new file and keep the original single pixel image as its own file. So to save this image for posting online, you can click File, Save As, and my recommendation would be to select the PNG file type. JPEG is of course another common format, but JPEG uses lossy compression and can often introduce artifacts in pixel work, like blurry edges and non-uniform color. PNG on the other hand is lossless and should retain the look of the original artwork. And real quick I wanted to share another way to resize pixel art on the fly while making a drawing. If you've got an isolated layer like with this character sprite here, you can access the scale function through the Move Layer tool. If we select this bounding box icon labeled Scale Rotate, we can drag the corners of our layer to resize it. Once again, for pixel art, this is best handled by scaling it by an exact integer. So rather than dragging, we can actually type the scaling factor for width and height into the sliders down in the bottom corner here. These are in a percentage format, so if we wanted to scale it by two times, for example, we'd enter 200, and so on. I often do this kind of thing when I have an isolated design on a plain background and I just want to resize it into place. So I might expand my canvas out to 1000 by 1000 pixels for instance, and then click and drag my sprite into that space at a multiple that leaves a good amount of breathing room around it. And then from here, we can save the image as a PNG and then that one's ready to go. Alright, I hope that helps clear up the workflow for resizing your pixel art images. So thank you for watching and good luck with your pixel art. 